are live and we're going to find out who offers the best Amazon tool at the moment. I've reviewed all of them. Well, pretty much all of them. I'm more or less 56 Amazon tools in more or less by now around 210 hours. So let's get right into it. There's a new leader in town and we're going to see right who it is right now. All right, guys, welcome. So as you can see, this is live. This is actually a little test of mine how to see how this works, to see how the software that I'm trying out works. And right now, if you have any questions about how the scoring system works, how any of these features, you know, uh, what I mean with any of these features in here, then you can ask them in the comment section wherever you're looking, watching this, be it YouTube, be it Twitter, be it LinkedIn, or even Facebook. So yeah, these are the features I looked at for all of these tools. It's a lot of them, right? And these demos take a lot of time. So <clears throat> yeah, I think this really is uh, meaningful in a way. And I think this really should be able to tell you who offers the best tool, at least for certain types of brands. And we're gonna start with the first scoring system which is the starter brand scoring system. So in this scoring system, I, I'm not giving any points to features that you know, are simply not important to starter brands. For example, the ability to target, to do target harvesting across platforms, right? That may be you know, having keywords move from Google ads to Amazon ads and the other way around. That's just a kind of example of an advanced feature that not every starter brand needs or, you know, automatically creating new campaigns for new product of yours, perhaps in secondary marketplaces where you don't want to do it manually. Again, obviously not something that every starter brand needs. What else do we have here? Yeah, manually bulk campaign creation, generally also not really needed. Um, <clears throat> and of course, DSP also not needed and things like multiple account switching or even having an overview of multiple seller accounts. So there's just some obvious features that not every starter brand needs. Okay, so now I did promise there's going to be a new leader in this scoring system. I did check on around six new tools since the last overview and one of them has indeed tipped the favorites or kicked the favorites from the top so let's have a quick look at who is going to end up at the top we're going to move up slowly now slowly 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 okay then we have adspurt who has also built some great new features in the meantime <clears throat> but not as high up in this particular scoring system but now we're going to get into the top 10. Packview in the first bronze position, but obviously not at the top anymore, at least not in this scoring system. M19, one of the tools I looked at, they built a lot of great stuff. They are also now in the bronze medal positions, over 170 points. And then we have Quartile in silver, Bidix in gold and basically second, wait, third spot. Oh yeah, third spot. Because we have Sky, who is the second placed at the moment, also in gold and also more than 190 points, which is a lot of those features. And finally, intent-wise, right now, the leading tool when it comes to the starter brand features, of course, this doesn't really consider yet the pricing. So maybe, you know, many of those at the very top are not really starter brand friendly in terms of the pricing. 
So maybe right now, Bidix is indeed the one you should look at, or maybe even Quartile, depending on, well, uh, how much ad spend you have. Actually, is this right? Yeah, I mean, no, that's, uh, I just thought this can't be correct. I must have uh, misplaced the, oh no, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the right row. I just thought Quartile started at $0, which I knew was not the case. So anyway, yeah. Bidix or M19, probably in terms of pricing, more suitable for starter brands. But yeah, like I said, in terms of having the features that a starter brand is typically looking for, then, well, InstantWise offers the most right now. So congratulations at this point, taking over the lead in the Amazon Tools League and uh, yeah, doing a really good job. Um, along with many of those other ones. Like I said in previous videos, this kind of points difference doesn't really make you know, a difference. One little okay or yes somewhere over here is gonna change that positioning. So yeah, it's not really anything to talk about. So all of those tools definitely worth looking at if you're a starter brand. But I did also promise you another leader and this is in one of my other scoring systems, which is the automation scoring system. And just a reminder, you can ask questions. I'm going to be responding live if you're seeing this live, of course. Uh, if not, you can also ask comments later on and I'll be responding writtenly. But anyway, let's have a look at this second scoring system. I'm just going to sort the tools by this column now and we can already see adspert going straight up into the top 10 in this scoring system and just to kind of explain a little bit again in this scoring system automation focused of course the automation features are valued a bit more these get all of them get a bit more points than in the other scoring systems and at the same time, of course, features like manual bulk optimization uh, is not really important here for these people that want to, you know, not do any work basically manually. So all of these features here, zero points, as well as optimization suggest suggestions, um, also almost zero points. I still want to have some negative suggestions even when I'm an automation person because negatives is the thing that you in general really shouldn't fully trust to automation software among with some other things, but that's really the big one where you always want to have, you know, a look over things and see if, if uh, the search terms that are put to negative really are negative. Okay, and yeah, just some other things that are just not as important in this scoring system. So they're only getting like one point here. I still want some analytics. It's not like I'm, you know, letting the tool do everything, but I don't want to see what's happening. So I still give some points in all of these analytics features, but uh, I believe less points than in some of the other scoring systems. So yeah. Let's go back to it. Let's go back into the top 10 and see who cracked that league. And we have Trellis here in the top 10 as well. Pack view. Dropping a little bit. Feedvisor. Perpetua. And now it's going, oh, intent wise, the beginner scorer leader only in the top five in this one. And then we have Sky, Quartile in silver position with over 180 points. Still a lot. Well, not still. It is a lot, especially if you consider that I'm not giving points to a lot of these manual features. And in second spot, Bidix, again, you know, very robust tool, has a ton of features and apparently also so in the automation spectrum. And then finally, number one at the moment, cracking the 200 points mark in the automation scoring system 
is M19. So very, very uh, impressive what they have been offering and what they built in the last two years since I last checked on them. So, you know, if you're a person that is interested in giving as much work as possible to automation, especially when, of course, when it comes to bid management and things like that, then you definitely want to have a look at M19 and, of course, also BIDX and probably also Quartile. But yeah, maybe in terms of pricing, the other two are a little bit more attractive. But yeah, there's really um, not much bad I can tell you about them. Uh, so M19 is really for those that want to give away the control as much as possible, that don't want to worry about PPC too much. So that brings me to a little negative that I do have to mention, which is the fact that, and this is one of the new features I've been looking at since the last overview, is that they um, cannot automate your existing campaigns, but instead they use the data from those existing campaigns and they create new campaigns. So that is a bit of a negative, it has to be said, but then again, like I said, if you want, if you're fine with just giving away full control, and you're kind of fine with, uh, yeah, that short period of time might be short, might be a bit longer when the new campaign has to prove itself and, you know, get traction, then, uh, then I guess M19 is a very good option for you because yeah, they have great machine learning bit optimization, which at the end of the day is probably the most important feature in all of this. And they have a lot of great other features, especially apparently in automation. Um, <clears throat> yeah, actually I have a first comment. This is exciting. And I can actually, I believe also show you that comment. One second. From Kulturprodukt. Adspurt is amazing. I tried Adference and Perpetua and Adspurt is automation wise the best software from my experience. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't really say any, anything bad about Adspurt. They're probably not the you know, most complete tool. They're not as feature packed at this point, especially in terms of analytics and optimization. Their philosophy there is to leave a lot to the ad console when it comes to that kind of optimization. And they have a point, to be honest, because the ad console in Silicon Central is getting so, so much better. And, you know, with the targeting tab, the budget tab, you can do a lot of bulk optimization already. And the analytics itself is getting better as well with the products tab, for example. So, yeah, they are actually a very good tool. And I believe they are also one of the very few that are focused on kind of profit optimization. Let's see, let's see in the extra and the PPC bid automation considering external data section. So indeed here they have, yeah, the only one that's really focused on profit, which at the end of the day really is the most important KPI. So Good for them for kind of realizing that. And yeah, really going after that one. Yeah, great comment. <laughs> culture product or culture product for those of you that are not German. Uh, yeah, and actually, I think that's pretty much it in terms of this video. So I just wanted to really quickly test out one more thing here. Oh yeah, here we go. You will find 66 free and discounted Amazon FBA tools and the links below in YouTube or in the bio of my Twitter profile or LinkedIn profile or wherever you're watching this. So some of them, of course, also for the tools that we just talked about here, whenever there is a discount to get for you guys. I will try to get it, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you believe me that it will not influence this league, right? This is a, I'm trying to keep it as factual as possible. And for myself also to know who offers what, 
who offers it, how well. That's why I also, you know, uh, say if they do it in an okay version, in an okay way, if they just have it factually, that will be a yes. If they do it in a good way or even a super way. So yeah, I'm trying to also give that uh, depth of each feature uh, because you know each of you could have different valuations of each feature and know, or each of you could be looking for something else and you really don't want to know if that particular feature is good if you want to get into that software or not. So yeah, I'm just trying to keep it factual and also get you some discounts wherever possible. So yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this. And of course, I hope you're looking forward to the next update of the Amazon Tools League. Actually, in the uh, Profit League, there is also another update because we have one of the earlier leaders from the Profit League that uh, was in top two, I believe. And I checked on them and we're going to see if um, who's currently the leader. Oh, I can't show you because then you will see. Um, maybe one of you remembers who, who is currently the leader of the Profit League. I'm just blacking out here of the name. So Kpuck was second. Oh yeah, My Real Profit, of course. So yeah, let's see if my real profit really is at the top when one of the, the previous leaders is now up to date with their features in my overview. All right, actually I have an, one, one more comment here to show you from Tarek. <laughs> Thank you for the software review and choosing us as a leader. Well, you're welcome, but I didn't choose you. I mean, that's what I was kind of trying to point out. Yeah, I'm just trying to <laughs> factually say who has which features and in the end the points come together and that's you know that's how it is will you be sharing this video yeah this is now live i guess after finishing this and this stream it will be live on youtube and linkedin i guess i'm actually not 100 percent sure because i'm trying this software for the first time and yeah it should be there you're welcome, Kultur Produkt. See you soon. And me wish Ismail. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> You're very welcome. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Until next time, to find out who is the top at the Profit League. And yeah, see you guys.